alive. It's alive. It's alive. It's alive. What's up, guys, and welcome to another lesson in the Nomad Shop class here on the School Zone. I have a quick follow up video to my last Tesla coil build video. This wasn't actually on my list of videos <laughs> to make, and I'm working on a much bigger video at the moment, but I got really inspired by some comments a few of you left on that Tesla coil video. So I thought I'd go ahead and take it a step further, and this is what I came up with. So I'll kind of go over the parts involved and then show you how it looks when it's turned on. So what we've got here is the uh, superconductors. What, what's it called exactly? Yeah, this Voltec reactor, that's what it is. So we got the Voltec reactor. I glitched in a couple of Tesla arc traps into the top of it, and then Pillar glitched in some street lights. All right, just to give it that actual Tesla coil look. What's awesome about this is that the uh, vault -Tec reactor actually has a lightning animation to begin with before I even turn on the uh, Tesla coil arcs, all right? And then right in the middle there, just to make it perfectly Frankenstein-ish, all right? I have a bed with a headless corpse and then uh, rug glitched into the bed is one of those uh, ghoul chairs from uh, Nuka World. All right, I think you get it from uh, one of the raider gangs after you complete that whole quest. So it just, it's perfect. You know, we got the ghoul. <laughs> we got the ghoul looking alive, all right? So as far as techniques go, this thing really involves most of the techniques I've already gone into deep dives about. That includes the pillar glitch, the rug glitch, the stairs rug combo glitch from my junk fence video, and then of course the Wi-Fi glitch, all right? So... We got the switch right over here and let's take a look at it and see what it looks like. I'm actually going to show you a couple of versions. First, I'll show you how it looks with the street lights on the top. But then I discovered that without the street lights, the Tesla arc traps seem to be turbocharged by the generator and become like laser beams into the sky. It's pretty crazy. All right. So let's take a quick look. It's alive! <laughs> That's awesome. Okay, now the Tesla arc traps actually damage the generator. So this isn't something you would run like, you know, all the time. It's something you'd probably do just to show off in a YouTube video or something like I'm doing right here. All right, so what I'm going to do actually is go ahead and uh, reload. Okay, and then the next thing I'm going to do is go into workshop and just go ahead and remove the street lights so you can see what it looks like without them. Just because we get, you know, the street lights block the Tesla Arc's full range of motion here, right? Okay, so here's what it looks like without it. Check this out. This is amazing. Isn't that cool? It's like laser beams going into the sky. That is awesome. <laughs> Total Frankenstein. And I'm going to reload one more time here. Now, if I had the time, I would have built this set piece into a whole wicked settlement theme, you know? But I didn't want to put it off for that long. It was just too cool to hold on to. So I just wanted to show you real quick so maybe you can get inspired and come up with some interesting ideas for your own settlements. I mean, isn't it amazing how the possibilities are endless in the Fallout 4 building system? It's kind of boggling to the mind. I mean, I could just keep going like this, you know, especially with inspiration from you guys. I'm actually a little worried that these glitch techniques won't be available in Fallout 76 and will be kind of shackled again. And mods won't even be available either, you know, for at least right out of the gate. But I don't want to get ahead of myself. There's always Fallout 4. <laughs> So what I'm going to do is I'm going to close out the video with a few different takes I managed to record of some pretty interesting shots. All right. So thanks again for watching. Subscribe, throw a quick like on the video, and I'll be back soon with more. Whoa, it sat up. And now the corpse is being electromagnetically levitated. It's alive! I'm sure you guys can tell I have way too much fun with this stuff. Alright, well thanks for sticking around. Happy building and class dismissed.